morning, Ephra. My name's Avery. My name's Nate. Today is Friday, March 29th, and it's John's birthday. If you see him in the hallway, give him a hug, maybe even kiss. Now rise for a moment of silence and a pledge to the flag. Attention all underclassmen, Friday, April 5th is the last day to quickly and easily change a course for next year. If you would like to modify your course request, be sure to submit the necessary paperwork which can be found in your Schoology resource folder or stop by the counseling office to pick up a change form. As a reminder, you can view your proposed courses for next year in your community portal account. The listing is in the file cabinet under the reports area. Sophomores and juniors interested in helping the class of 2023 have a smoother transition into EHS next year, the Link Crew program is looking for you. Link leaders are upperclassmen who are solid role models for younger students who have been successful at our school. We are looking for responsible 10th and 11th graders with good communication skills and leadership potential who are willing to share the lessons they have learned and that allow them to be successful at EHS. You could have a tremendous impact on our new students and will learn many valuable leadership uh, skills in the process. Link leaders are trained to work and help with the incoming freshman class transition right in high school. If this sounds interesting for you, fill out an application right away, which is available on Schoology, and applications are due by Friday, April 5th at 3. If you are not sure and you would like to learn more, please see Ms. Mandel, Ms. Ms. Lowe, or Mr. Hrabowski for more information and details. Today is the last day to recycle paper. Thanks for helping save our planet. Our last fun fact for Environmental Health Week, less than 1% of water supplies found on Earth are usable by people. 97% of water is found in the oceans and 2% exists as frozen water in the glaciers. Now over to John with the news. It's time for the news. The eastbound lanes of the Pennsylvania Turnpike in Chester County have reopened after a crash shut them down this morning. The crash involved a large tractor trailer, which was carrying dish soap, and a bridge. Turnpike spokesman Carl DeFobo said the truck hit the bridge at milepost 317.5. The dish soap spilled all over the road and forced the closure of the eastbound lanes between the Downingtown number 312 and Valley Forge number 326 exits for more than three hours. State police said two people were hurt. The injuries aren't life-threatening. Fun fact, did you know the month of March is National Sauce Month? So get saucy, Africa. Now over to whoever with the lunch. Good morning, Africa. Today is Friday the 29th. I'm coming at you from upside down. Today for lunch, we'll have a bacon cheeseburger on a whole grain roll. Turkey and gravy with rolls. Upside down. Raging south of the border, chicken sandwich. PBJ uncrustable. Chicken Caesar salad, not stabbed by his peers. Mashed potatoes, glazed sweet potatoes, broccoli with cheese sauce, fresh cauliflower and dip, pineapple tidbits, whatever tidbits are, fresh fruit, or a slushy. I'm running fast. In sports action, tennis won with a sweep of doubles and singles, 7-0 versus Anvil Cleona. Volleyball won a close score, close one, 3-2 versus, versus Garden Spot, and boys across won 18-6 versus Garden Spot. Today in sports, baseball is away at LS and softball is home versus LS. Tomorrow, girls across is home versus Cedar Cliff, and boys across is away at Cedar Cliff. And baseball is home versus Cumberland Valley. Now back to the boys.
Class of 2020, looking for an incredible and free leadership opportunity this summer, check out the Rotary Youth, uh, the Rotary Youth Leaders Award, RILA for short. The conference is at Messiah, uh, Messiah College this summer from June 9th to 13th. RILA provides leadership training for outstanding young men and women. The schedule includes various speakers, career seminars, and a challenging course, team building activities, and much, much more. For more information about this free student leadership conference, be sure to check out an application in Schoology, or you could pick one up in a counseling office. Don't delay, because the initial paperwork needs to be submitted to the counseling office by April 5th. If you have any questions, please see your counselor ASAP. Attention those interested in stage crew for the spring musical The Adams Family. We are looking for a few stage crew to assist behind the scenes. Any interested students should plan on meeting with Mr. Gonzalez on Monday, April 1st at 4.30 p.m. in the auditorium. Any questions, please email Mr. Gonzalez. Attention students of Everett High School. If you are interested in running for the student council, please stop down to Mr. Marzak's room to pick up your petition. Only six members are selected to become representatives of student council per grade to represent our student body. And since you will represent our school and the student body, we will need to hold elections for those positions. To qualify, you will need to stop down and pick up your petition from Mr. Marzok in room 137. You will need to collect 25 signatures from students in your grade only or, or in your grade only or your petition will be void. Next, you would need to ask a teacher or administrator at the high school for a recommendation, basically saying that you would be a great leader, a hard worker, and would represent our school well. But you can't ask Mr. Marzak or Ms. Eshelman because they are student council advisors. Finally, a list of all eligible students running to be representative will be sent out to the faculty for one last look-see, just to make sure all students running are within good standing at the high school. And if everything goes well, which it probably will, elections will be held during the advisory on Friday, April 12th. That means voting, people. So stop down and see Mr. Marzak and get your petitions and teacher recommendations turned in by Tuesday, April 9th. Any petition or teacher recommendation received after Tuesday, April 9th will not be accepted. So stop down to see Mr. Marzak in room 137 and let's get this show on the road. We're done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to hold 